So uh, we have almost completed our elimination reaction in alkyl halide. The second molecule which we will be discussing is alcohols. That is even reaction in alcohols. Let's take a alcohol molecule CH3 CH3 and let's make it the 3 dp cocktail CH3 CH3 and OH This is uh, our initial 3 degree alcohol 3 degree alcohol means the molecule, uh, the atom, uh, the carbon atom to which OH group is attached is 3 degree. So we will be studying the elimination reaction in this case. So what actually happens in elimination reaction of alcohols through even mechanism? We can clearly see this O lone, these O lone pairs are basic in nature. So if we have some acid in our reaction mixture then it can accept a H and on accepting H this will become a good living group. At current at present this is a very bad living group. OH is not a good living group. But after it's accepting a proton let's say if it accepts a proton This is a very good living group and again this in the in the second step this living group will depart in the third step the H is abstracted. So we will be discussing this mechanism in detail. This was the first step in second step. This OH2 plus will act as a leaving group. It will leave the molecule. Now this is our rate determining step because the carbon form should be stable. Otherwise the reaction will go in the backward direction. This is our rate mining step. CH3, CH3. Our carbon is formed here, and this carbon. can undergo further elimination by giving up a proton let's say uh, if we have something a uh, mixture uh, for example a base uh, CSKOH let's say it can ex uh, uh, eliminate this proton thus giving us a very stable alkene okay so this is the mechanism note that the first step in this reaction is the acid base reaction where this is formed and acid base reactions are very fast reactions so in this case the first step is not the rate determining step here the second step is the rate determining step which is after leaving, it forms a carb cation. And again, uh, as there is a formation of carb cation, we will definitely have a carb cation shift rearrangement. There can be a methyl rearrangement, there can be a H rearrangement. We will see all these types in coming examples. Now, uh, important thing to note is the reagents. In this molecule, we need a acid because in the first system we have to protonate the alcohol group, and obviously heat is needed. 
So SCBO4 heat can act as a acid or H2SO4 heat. These two molecules can act as acid for the elimination reaction for alcohol. Now taking examples. Uh, let's say we have uh, CS3, CH2, uh, or let's say CS3, CH, CS3, and this is CH2, OH. Now it's a one degree alcohol which is very unstable the carcatine form will be very unstable so generally it is considered to be inert it doesn't go through even reaction but if the molecule is this one in this case it is a 2 degree alcohol At first, we will see that it is a 2 degree alcohol, hence the reaction rate was supposed to be less. But experimentally, it is found that the rate was quite decent. So, to explain this, we propose one new change that is, let's say we give H plus, the first step is uh, this acid base reaction. These are basic lone pairs. This is a acid. These will react to form OH2 plus. Hence, CS3, CH, CS3, OH2 plus. Now it's a good leaving group. And CS3. So, uh, this is the first step. In second step, this OH2 molecule will leave and a carcatine is formed here, which is a 2 degree carcatine. I will show you. This molecule will go uh, elimination and the carcatine which we will get is CH carcatine. CS3. It's a 2 degree alcohol, 2 degree carcatine formed from a 2 degree alcohol. Hence, it is not that stable. So, what happens is there is an edge shift. It is very similar to the alkyl shift that was happened in the 4 uh, membered molecule. What we saw in this reaction there was a bond shift from here to here. So, here the similar type of thing will happen. This H will shift here and this carcatine will shift on this molecule. This is known as H shift. So, this H shift will happen. This molecule will be converted in a 3 degree carcatine. CH CH2, CS3, CS3 and this is the carbon See, this CS3 is this one. This whole group is this one. One extra H is there, that is this one was CH and it becomes CH2 because there is a H shift. And this carb cation which was on this atom transfers to the second atom. So, now it's a 3 degree carcatine which is very stable, very reactive, 3 degree carcatine. So, it will undergo further elimination reaction that is step 3 in which a proton will be extracted and again there are two possibilities. One, this will, uh, this proton is eliminated 
forming a double bond here or this proton is eliminated. CS3, carbon, uh, carbon with a positive charge, CH, CS3, 1H is here and again CH2H. Now these two hydrogens are beta. So both of them can be eliminated. If this is eliminated, let's say it is product 1. If this is eliminated, let's say it's product 2. Hence, two products are formed. When this one is eliminated, there is a double bond between this carbon and this carbon. CH3, carbon, double bond, CH, CS3, and here is one more. CS3 attached to the second carbon atom. See, there are two alkyl groups attached to the sp2 carbon. This is the sp2 carbon. There are two alkyl groups attached. While in the second molecule, if this H is eliminated, the double bond form is between this and this. So let's see what happens here. This was product 1, this was ZC product. The second one is this one. So, CS3, carbon, a double bond here and here, and this is CH2, CS3. Now, there is both hydrogen groups attached to this sp2 carbon hence it was Hoffman product so the first one was more stable The second most important example to discuss is what if there are no H to be shifted as in the case of last example in the last example there was a hydrogen here instead of this methyl group which was shifted. What if there is no hydrogen group present on this alpha carbon? What will happen then? So the first step is saying it will accept NH plus, OH2 plus is formed. Again the problem was same. It's a 2 degree carb cation which is not stable. It when, uh, from here a 2 degree carb cation is formed which is not stable so there has to be some shift CS3 C CS3 CS3 CH carb cation CH2 H now see if this H is shifted it will form a 1 degree carb cation which is irrelevant to us. It is not formed at all. One degree carb cation is very unstable, not formed at all. But there are no hydrogen to shift on this side. So in this case, remember, it should be this case when no other H is present, then only a methyl shift can happen and a positive charge will be shifted. So in this case, the molecule will be CS3 a carb cation is here, this CS3 is here and there was CH and this methyl group is shifted on this CH that is CH, CS3 and again from this CH a CS3 group was attached. So this was the example of a methyl shift, this is known as Methyl shift.
the earlier one was hydrogen shift this is methyl shift methyl shift happen only when there is no h available which will form a stable cation and again in the last step it is very easy you can have this hydrogen eliminated and this hydrogen these both are identical or this hydrogen eliminated obviously this hydrogen will lead to form a double bond here which will be more alkylated see one two alkyl groups or if a double bond form is here then it is not stable let me show you this was our initial product uh, let's say it's uh, CH2H carbon with a positive charge CH3 carbon with C, uh, CH3 and this is one more CH3 so here are two possibilities either this H is uh, abstracted by a base or this H is abstracted so let's say it's product 1 it's product 2 the product 1 is one form is the double bond is between these two carbons CH2 double bond C CH3 CH again two CH3 molecules so this is the sp2 carbon there are two hydrogen attached to it while if the product 2 is formed there will be a double bond between this carbon and this carbon this carbon has two alkyl groups attached to it ch3 ch3 a double bond between this and this this h is abstracted so it left only see it has one two three four alkyl groups it is a very stable product in comparison to that one this is a ZSF product this is a Hoffman product So the other example which we will be discussing is a five membered ring CH2OH. Again, the first step is same. Uh, the H plus is attacked here. Now, uh, see, it is a one degree alcohol. Still, it is reacting CH2OH2 plus. In the second step, it will leave giving us CH2 positive. Now, this is a one degree carpet ion. It is very unstable. It will immediately have a bond shift. Hence, a six membered ring is formed. And then there are two possibilities, both will lead to the same product, and alkene is formed in the third step. Now, uh, one important thing to note in this example is there are two possible pathways. Remember, this is our carcadine 1 degree intermediate. Let me show you two parallel possible pathways which were we have CH2 plus. If we have this bond shift, 
that is pathway one, which we just discussed. But what if this edge is shifted? This is this carbon has four valencies one, two, three. Hence, the fourth one is the edge. What if this edge is shifted on this carbon? We haven't thought about that. So the first step was discussed. It will lead to a six-membered ring, six-membered alkene. In the second step, if this edge is shifted, instead of this bond, we'll have a five-membered ring. Now see, this edge is shifted on this CH two, hence it will become CH three, and this carbon has lost one valency hence there is a vacant orbital which is represented as positive charge so this product is formed now this will have two possibilities furthermore this is a carb cation it will go in elimination reaction but the two possibilities are either this h is abstracted or this h is abstracted Let's call it product one. This is product two. If one happens, then our final product is double bond with this carbon, this type of molecule. And if this happens, then our final product is this type of molecule. So it is very evident. That this sp2 carbon has two H attached to it, while this has one alkyl group attached to it. So this one will be Z self product. This one will be Hoffman. Hence, uh, this is more stable. See, there are three possibilities in this. Example one six member ring. This is a half member order. This is a Z self product. Thus, by looking all these examples, it was very clear that the reactivity order. Of this, of uh, even in alcohol is three degree, then a two degree, and one degree is almost inert. It generally it doesn't react. So uh, we have come to an end to the discussion of elimination reaction in alcohols. The third molecule which we were considering was an ether, even reaction in ethers. For ethers, elimination reaction is generally not considered, not favorable. However, in some examples, it is found to go through a even mechanism. If it goes, then we'll see how. What will be the mechanism? It will be very straightforward, very similar to what we have discussed till now. Let's say this is our ether molecule. First, these lone pairs are basic. If a acid is given in the medium, it will immediately attack. Uh, OH plus group is formed. Now, it has two possibilities. One, this bond breaks, giving CS3, C, CS3, CS3. Plus this carb cation, which is a three degree carb cation, very stable, and the molecule 
weighted form is CSUH or if this bond shifts in a way uh, like this then the carbocation formed is CST plus which is not formed, not stable. So this path is completely broken. So there is a possibility of both pathways. So you have to see the stability of carbocation and decide which will be preferred one. And after this, it is same as that in case of alcohol, we have got a three degree carbocation. A base will come when H is abstracted and Consequently, an alkyl molecule is formed which can have two possibilities a ZSF product or a Hofmann product. Obviously, uh, ZSF product is preferred, but it should be remembered that generally ethers don't prefer even mechanism, but in some cases, it was seen to uh, go through this mechanism. So uh, this was the last topic in even reaction. We have come to an, to the discussion of elimination reaction. In the next lesson, we will discuss E2 reactions. Thank you.